Welcome back to some Man of War action. It's going to be a 4 vs 4 on the town map. Your server is Germany. Pretty bog standard stuff, but uh, what the hell? We'll see what we can do. So, yeah, yeah, we're just having problems with um, Glafir, aka John Con McGee, trying to um, load the game. So, he tried doing it without Steam. It seems to be working. So, just was a bit concerned because it was still taking a bit of a while, but uh, it seems to be alright now. So, hopefully, we should be good to go. So yeah, we'll just go for a relatively standard spawn with some tankmen here and there, a couple of rough. I was thinking we're going with a bit of rush, but that was scrot. Let's just see what happens. Can't talk for a steam, I started about it. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's just that I thought the game crashed on him again, that's why I sent him another steam message while it was loading. So speaking of which, we'll just get these guys to start. Oh, you fucking kidding. Welcome back to some Men of War action. It's going to be a you know, 2 vs 2 game in the workshop map. Germany vs USA, oh, sorry, USA, should I say. Yeah, we're just spawning in as... Oops, Germans with some tankmen, good. It looks like, yeah, the Wolfman Ian is going to be uh, spawning in their zone tankmen to the guard the left. So perfect, Mando. So is PA still free to... Just talking about our uh, planetary annihilation briefly before this uh, round started. But anyway, we'll just get some guys up here and uh, yeah, I mean, planetary annihilation looks like an interesting concept, even though technically the maps aren't quite as big as um, they might be just due to the fact that yes, you are playing on planets, but the thing is, they're not exactly very big planets that you're playing on, more like asteroids really. But uh, I mean, what the hell is an interesting concept for a game? Free to play though, I don't really like that model too much as it basically turns into pay to win almost every single goddamn time. The only time it does not turn into pay to win is if uh, the only items you can buy are cosmetic items. The problem is though, it's so damn easy, you know, just to put in uh, items that give players advantages and all that, or, you know, let them level up faster or, you know, get more experience faster and all that. And uh, yeah, then. Uh, Certainly, uh, many players will take that over grinding, which is another thing I certainly don't like about free to play. But anyway, 80 rifle purchased. Okay, sounds good. There's planet. Is it a regular game? Since maybe you didn't know what I meant by that abbreviation, I didn't you know. In any case, uh, I might just get my guys up a little bit further forward. Of course, that means this guy will be the first one to die. Oh, it's actually a regular game, I'll be damned. And down you go. <laughs> Might get it actually. Because yes, I have played uh, the original Total Annihilation, also played the uh, demo of Supreme Commander, which is kind of crappy compared to Total Annihilation, Total Annihilation, and even crappy compared to Total Annihilation Spring, which is pretty good open source game. Uh, unfortunately with Turnalash and Spring, uh, not as many people played as they used to and the uh, the actual support for for it just seems, I don't know, it's the programming on it is kind of shoddy, especially the uh, the um, default lobby that you get with the game. I mean the lobby actually used to be good but for some reason it was updated and then they just doesn't seem to really, uh, oh, damn it the hell are they? It's just rifle. Anyway, it just doesn't seem to work anywhere near as well as it used to. But uh, now what can you do? This tankman, I suppose, will let him uh, slowly uh, regain health because you know he's on the verge of death. So of course, if he wants to regain his health, I'll just see if I can. Welcome to some uh, men of action. It's going to be four versus four on the town map. Your save versus Germany. Hopefully, we'll be able to get this round going this time. We'll see what happens. I think he has to get an M20. Out, there we go, and shit, I'm not acting too slow. Need infantry, need infantry in the middle to say less. But in any case, we'll see what happens. So, yeah, yeah, we just had some issues with um, Glamford trying to get the game to work through Steam. For some reason, they decided to screw up randomly, and speaking of which, I'm just going to spell through over here, over here, and perfect, let's get this guy up. Mid ah, okay, thank god for that. Just send this guy up as well. Thank you, Demando. I'll be a bit risky actually going with an M20 in such an enclosed environment, but uh, if I can catch. Oh, you fucking moron. God. Anyway, if I can catch the infantry, uh, or oh, god forbid, a triple. 
two or two to three, I suppose. Well, you don't see those quite as often. If I can catch uh, them out, then uh, yeah, it's going to be worthwhile. They're starting to capture the points, which means I'm a bit late. But uh, oh, what can you do? Hopefully, I can just shoot the crap out of anyone that comes here, such as these guys. <laughs> and it's just a Panzer one anyway. <laughs> yep, down you go. <laughs> oh god, just got out of this game. So there we go. We should hopefully be all right. Oh shit, almost got blown up there. Ah, no, down I go. Shit. Ah, well. Almost, almost, but not quite. Ah, well. Oh, speaking of which, Johnny, don't bunch up the infantry. One of them getting taken out. Thankfully, the other one is still alive. Where the hell was he, though? Actually, was he around here? So I think he was. Maybe. Okay, I guess not. Interesting. Well, I suppose the it did pay for itself though. Oh shit, they're going to be salvaging from this. Oh, not salvaging, but rather repairing of two repair kits, you said. To double the repair speed, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, let's just see. Oh my god, he's actually got two repairing at once. I'll be damned. Well, he's going to get a nasty surprise. There we go. And screw just to add insult to injury, we'll sandwich for nothing too. So, he's going to get taken out. Yes, there you go, it's a tank crew, although yeah, I didn't get cl the kill claimed, but uh, well, still, it's kind of fun to do that stuff. <laughs> and speaking of which, better get some SMGs into the fray as well, we're kind of undermanned. A little bit so laced, man oh man. Just some of these bastards over here, and yep, we've got another Panzer 1. Damn, too bad I didn't wait a bit longer actually. Oh well. Could have, uh... Oh, actually, wait a minute, I've got Bazook, man. Let's see if we can sneak him forward, maybe. Bam. Bam, damn, there goes joining us infantry. Oh well. Actually, where the hell is this thing going? I might be able to get it with a uh, side shot. No, damn it, of course it's in the, exactly the wrong place there. Oh, actually, no, wait, no, no, I might be able to just get it. No, he's going to keep going forward, damn it. And he's going to die now, great. Oh, fuck the end. I should not get taken out. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Ah, oh, fuck it, let's just get the bloody AT gun out, I suppose. Shit, that was a hell of a mistake by myself there. Alright, uh, this is certainly going to be a bit, bit more of a challenging ground than the uh, previous round, to say the least, especially with bloody crap like that running amok. Probably could have just gone with uh, something a bit lighter, but okay, 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 take it anyway. I suppose the AT gun at least will be able to scale up with uh, medium tanks and all that appearing at a late point in the game. Let's just get these guys up as well. And. There we go, perfect. Of course, with my tear guns are very slowly coming up, we actually do. There you go. Ah, different M20 coming up, so there you go. I'm sure cool. So, yeah, can I sell from my bazooka? Me? Yes, I can actually. I can't remember if I actually sent in some some tank room in there before. Ah, yes, I did. Perfect. Well, I guess we're going to sell from these some G's while they're there, and this guy can just sell from his tank room. Perfect. And let me guess, fucking Red Cotley is going to lag out. Jesus Christ, I think that's what happened on this map as well. Did we have a quitter? I can't remember. Come on, for fuck's sake. I bet you he's probably not lagging out, he's probably quitting. God damn it. Such an interesting game as well. I mean, it was kind of even, I mean, there was only one pressuring the uh, midpoints there, and normally when they're lagging out like that, you can't actually kick them either. Which is kind of a ridiculous feature of the game, but, uh, oh well, what can you do? I could give it a shot, but, uh, nope. Let's make kick while he is lagging out, say the least. Ah, actually, you'd think everyone else would have learned that by now. It's not exactly a new, new rule to say the least. Is this not what you paid for? Well, I paint for a freaking game that should work. But anyway, he timed out in any case, so... There you go, this thing somehow is still alive. Maybe the engine got knocked out, I'm not entirely sure. It seems to be knocked out in general. Interesting. There we go. It's all destroyed now in any case. It's, uh, yeah, pretty goddamn ridiculous though. But oh well. Alright, who wants to restart? I guess it would be, have to be the... Uh, Usual question, let's just get this guy to. Oh no, join us, I'm gonna over there, we'll send this guy over here, I suppose. And yep, Bazooka Man. Up and running, so unfortunately, thing being hull destroyed, but what the hell? I might be able to sneak up a tank room there anyway. Actually, what can you sell from that? 
Oh, actually, there's a bazooka to sell from this. Get bazooka. So not me, not me. Okay, then. Well, I guess uh, if no one wants to restart, I suppose we'll just continue onwards then. Which maybe see if I can. What the? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're capturing a point. Good. Uh, let's see if I can get a straight on shot, I guess. Uh, so it's not curved or anything like, like that, I guess. And hopefully they did actually salvage the uh, thingy from that. A few hours just to get and it's interesting. I'm surprised they're not sending a few infantry to try to flank us or anything like that. It's rather bizarre. Oh, speaking of which, I forgot about this thing. Wow, what a miss! <laughs> oh sh shit! Speaking of which, probably should aim after this one actually. It's a bit more straight on, and there we go. Hell destroyed. Although, whoops, got that thing it's by accident as well. Oh well, just as well it's already dead. Eh? And hell destroyed. Just move this bastard over here. Four, one. Two for one, indeed. There we go, finally they're setting in some infantry, but uh, not exactly doing too well to say the least. Hopefully, this guy should be uh, pretty well hidden. Can I actually get him to go prone? Of course not. 76 right, oh, nicely done, old chap, nicely done. And, okay, we've got a Hellcat uh, using some HG rounds, not bad. So, there we go, yeah. We've got a few guys trying to be a bit of a pain in the ass, but overall, yeah, I reckon we're doing. Uh, Pretty damn well. Just to preempt our opponents, I might just put one guy in this building just to watch this flank there. This other guy, I suppose, can throw a quick grenade. And yeah, there goes Jay Crazy. I think he was one of people who did not want to freaking restart. So he did want to restart, he just wanted to quit. I was willing to restart if he wanted me to, though. So he just needed to tell me rather than fucking quit as well. But uh, yeah, the game is pretty much a yeah, almost pretty much a foregoing conclusion at this point. So I suppose. I suppose that's it, so if I get enough games like this, I P4, Pentium 4, anyway, I guess I can uh, strike these games into one video maybe, otherwise, uh, yeah, you won't be seeing this video, so until next time, this has been uh, Dame to Ditch signing off. And w welcome back uh, to some more Man of Action, it's going to be a silver or rather, just trying to spawn the screen. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a... Um, 4 versus 4 on the Farmland app, UK versus Germany, and hopefully it will actually get going because we do have at least one person with a fairly crappy PC. So, yeah. I'm feeling hopeful. I mean, I did still let him stay on, but uh, yeah. we'll see what happens. In any case, setting up a couple of soldiers, and uh, there we go. It's just delaying my uh, push there because I was just introducing things a bit there, but there we go. Hopefully, it should be alright. So, yeah, UK, very fiddly faction. Uh, as fairly as Japan in certain respects, at least they get uh, long range artillery. What the hell is this guy like? But yeah, they do get some nice little things like the uh, 17 pounder and the uh, different tanks, vehicles of the 17 pounder, and the, this nice little dodge car as well with a 37mm cannon and a machine gun as well. Look at that, because machine gun. Incredibly fancy, if I do say so myself. So let's just have a look. Don't seem to have encountered anything just yet. So, oh, wait. Oh, fuck that. Yep, we're encountering a Panzer 1 that's going to be a pain in the ass. Damn it. Still not managing to do quite a bit of damage and probably get these guys actually uh, get in here. Whoops. No. <laughs> ah, yeah, damn it. He's going to get probably get decrewed. Well, managed to do a bit of damage at least. It's kind of a bit of an annoying thing about this thing. But then again, I suppose what you expect when it's a bit of a glass cannon like that, but still. Watch this Rathman up here. This thing should be able to recruit relatively easily, then we can take out the Panzer 1 pretty damn easily, so. This is basically. Well, he can actually decrease this thing, but he can't take it out. Yeah, it doesn't look like I've suffered any damage at all, so no uh, broken wheels or anything like that, so if I got that. Now, still capturing this bloody point, though, but hopefully I can turn that. Oops, around. Probably like I should get this guy to throw it proper. Grenade. There we go. Try this indeed. And damn, it's still got a guy in there. How oh, well? Still there. This thing is back up and running. Let's see if we can send it back over here and do a bit of damage, perhaps. Bam and bam. So yes, nice job uh, rushing into the Panzer one there. Sometimes it can actually work. Nice little double machine gun and all that. You don't see too many. Uh, Vehicles of double machine gun. Hope that guy doesn't get to crew, no thank god, okay. Like that, and speaking of which, go, go, go. oh my god, what in god's name is going on there? What? Oh shit, yep, this guy's gonna get taken out. There we go, how crushed it, but still. Shit. Well, I suppose I can still aim at him a bit, but still. 
Something tells us it's not going to go too well to say least. We'll see what happens though. Probably should get one of these guys to actually throw a grenade too. Oh, maybe an AT grenade actually wouldn't hurt. Just to help uh, clear the building. There we go. Down you go. Perfect. And why the hell doesn't this Rumpfman actually get sandbags? I'm not too sure. Interesting. Oh fuck, I might have accidentally deployed it twice without realizing it, but looks it's uh, yeah, but it's two freaking sandbags, right? Whoops. <laughs> oh well, okay, I suppose I can still send this guy over yeah, I guess. And this guy will just put him over here. Perfect. Mando. This car has not been blown up yet, so I suppose I'll uh, start repairing it. So there we go, good old dodge. Lives to fight another day, although for how long though I don't know. We'll see what happens. Okay, so here we go, getting the sandbags up, perfect mando. And damn it, what I told him to put the sandbags a little bit further apart, but uh, oh, well, they're just going to be disappearing. Which am I getting taken out by a freaking flat gun? Which my gun sh oh my gosh, me out to handle once it gets repaired. So how about handle you bastards? So you can reach hype and die, you freaking truck, come on. And of course, really, I told him to. S I'd selected this thing and he throws a grenade just before I do it as well. Now that's that is just great timing of the scene. Oh, speaking of which. Yeah, I see him, I see him. Crew contused. <laughs> Jump crushed. Oh god. <laughs> there we go, they do get some nice things, these Brits. Provided that so you can actually use them all the way. Ah shit, this is gonna get taken out there. Can't even tell off the vehicle. But still, there we go, managed to take it out though, so that's uh, pretty and nicely done given the circumstances. I think I'll send in an actual. Ch actually, yeah, what the hell, send in a Churchill even. Go, come on, give me one point for God's sake. There we go. So, the Churchill's another interesting thing that the Brits get. Uh, I'd rather have a KV1 really, but. Uh, Given that the KV one's cheaper and uh, has roughly the same armor anyway as the Churchill, it's much cheaper and all that. So, yeah. what the hell they are? Oh, SMG, actually, damn it! This guy maybe we can get up to heal. Uh, probably not. So if he's going to get taken out, so well, still Churchill to the rescue. I can't believe my Ralph are actually doing this freaking badly. Like, and also, what? Oh, for fuck's sake! Of course, you put a bloody sandbag in the building. I'm surprised the AI can even do that actually. Maybe some freaking restriction on us. Oh well, anyway, just take this guy out. Try to anyway. Thank god the six pounder on this thing fires pretty quickly. And just try to take this thing out. Bam. And thanks for revealing the uh, flat gun as well, for that matter. Speaking of which, are they actually repairing this thing? Well, I don't see a uh, repair kit, but it doesn't mean it's not there, though, of course. So, what the hell? Let's just try to aim a couple of shots around here and maybe try to take this thing out permanently. Maybe. So only losing a couple of rifles, that wasn't as bad as I actually thought it'd be, and I can salvage the equipment pretty damn easily from them. Just wish the uh, church was a bit better for actually sniping stuff, but... Well, sniping it on its own, I should say, but I will lose the brakes, so... Oh my god, the crappy six-pound of this thing is certainly incredibly bla bad compared to the uh, cra even the crappy 76mm gun on the KV-1 and ah, uh, damn, these guys are going to get taken out. I forgot about them entirely actually until they got spotted there. Whoops. Well, I suppose this thing should be able to take on a Panzer 4G on his own, but uh, he's going to have to get pretty damn close though, given his incredibly crappy 6-pounder. <laughs> kind of sucks and... oh shit, anti-tank rough. Wait a minute, anti-tank rough? Really? Really? Okay, well, he got taken out anyway. Thank God it wasn't Bazooka, but he might have actually been able to. No, should I might have been able to take it out before. He stuck in, and oh my god, there goes the fucking turret. Kind of the similar weakness to the KV1 as well. All of that, and you pay, I think, 10 points more for the Churchill than you do for the KV1. So there we go, when. Where <laughs> does it end? Oh, god damn it. Oh well, maybe I can still get it actually if I can just. Aim at it. Maybe he is showing off his side armor. So let's see. Yeah, keep going forward. Damn it! Ah, oh, fuck! I'm gonna have to do a bit better with the control. And oh, okay, do kill off my 
guy there, but Steve can still manage to help crush him with a crappy turret. So there we go. Bit of micro madness there, but there we go. Managing to get the job done, and damn it, fucking. Oh, we did so much wrong for that way. But thank God for that. This thing, of course, doesn't even have a freaking turret on it, or a machine gun. But I was, but it's got a collection machine gun and hull mount machine gun, which I suppose I can still use. So. There you go. Yeah. I'll send a couple of submachine guns up here. Tank crewman as well, and damn it, this tank's gonna be the death of me probably. Wait a minute, can I actually actually maybe maybe I can actually take it out of a Churchill. Huh. It is not. <laughs> well, we'll let the tire get repaired in either case, and is he gonna fire at me? No, no, he's not actually, so. I don't know if you can actually see my... Ah, oh, no, he's going to be able to see it now, actually. Damn it. Turret. Maybe I should have had it actually brought up a rocket man now that I think of it. Whoops. Oh, shit. Okay, yep, I should have reacted sooner. Damn it. I, j I just thought that, you know, the turret was very close to being uh, repaired, but I uh, yeah, might be mistaken, actually. Ah. Yeah, thanks for that. Damn it, the tank crewman. Oh, I actually retreated into the tank, of course. Yeah, I thought the turret was very really close to getting repaired, but it looks like I made a bit of a uh, tactical error there. Or an assumption, which makes sense. I'll you'll mean all that. But anyway. Oh, okay, yeah, that'll certainly come in handy to say the least. Uh, whoops, I was getting taken out there, which kind of sucks, but oh well. Yeah, at least my Churchill is still alive. I just. Oh, I'm going take some things out. So, holy fucking shit. Oh, the fucking White House. Oh my god, it's like a comedy of errors, really. Funny stuff. Yeah, well, thank god I've got Rafa at least. There he goes, but. It's a guy. Oh my god, comedy of freaking errors. And. Oh no, never mind, he actually is a pretty answer. But of course, he's not using the same. repair kit, that would just be, uh, you know, too sensical to, to do. There we go. Look at him under. And there we go, good as new. There we go, I guess he was a sense master up here to take out these uh, Rothman. Oh, let's pick these guys back up here and. Oops, there we go, perfect. So, what are these? Oh, they're assault. Oh, shit, that means I shouldn't get too close actually to their rocket launchers. Whoops. Uh, talk about slapdash play for me. Uh, well, Brits, you definitely uh, don't want to be this slapdash, but. Uh, oh, well. I guess you could say we're making things interesting for opponents and all that, so there you go. Just knock down the rest of this building and. Speaking of which, I forgot about uh, actually salvaging it. Yeah, whoops. Well, let's try to salvage from the tank. We'll salvage from the rifleman and speaking. Oh, whoops. There we go. Just salvage from whatever's not an out down, basically. So that's the uh, Japanese way. Oh, no, actually, not Japanese way, but playing as UK. Whoops. Oh, it's speaking of which, it's I better send this bus over here to support, actually. And of course, just as I do that, this guy. So that's to try to salvage the rough, of course. Why wouldn't they, eh? Why wouldn't they? Yeah, of course, all my uh, SMGs have disappeared. Well, the assault infantry at least haven't faded from existence just yet. So I suppose it would be good to salvage from them using my uh, tank as well, for that matter. So, there we go. That's a bit more like it. So. At least these uh, tank men won't be quite as big of pushovers as they would otherwise be. We'll just send them up here. Actually, I might just send them over here to take this thing out. Or maybe even to uh, actually try to crew it. That'd be funny. <laughs> Oh, come on. Surely you can run through the fucking building. Really? Okay, well, I bet if I actually went through it with direct control, I'd be able to run through it just fine. There we go. Bit of difficulty. That could turn worth doing the damage. Which, thankfully, we didn't have too many guys back here, but still. There we go. Yeah, what else do we have? That's some other crap. Watch my guy getting taken out there. Yeah, well, what can you do? At least the little line here has been re established, and. There we go. I suppose I can salvage the Piat actually. It's very well positioned. <laughs> so, yeah, it's definitely not doing quite as much damage as they should have. And, oh, that's just rough. I thought that was Panzer. Uh, not Panzer worth it, but say. What do you call it? Damn it. Give me a rifle somewhere. Yeah, uh, paratrooper, should I say. But anyway, let's just salvage the same one. I think this tank has been freaking recruited as well, for fuck's sake. Yeah, well, at least I'm still taking out there, guys. Might just. Uh, just 
see if I can uh, get this guy over here and shit this freaking tiger, although if he keeps his sidearm like that, I might be able to get a side shot off actually. Let's let's have a look what he'll nap he's not gonna do it, damn it. Well, I suppose if I keep retreating him, I can lure him into my uh, makeshift rocket man, perhaps. I'm pretty sure that tank has been repaired. So there we go, Pona's finally starting to he send in some heavier stuff, which is basically what Britain starts to struggle with, because the stuff they can take out the uh, heavies is, ba is basically all just glass cannons. So we we'll send up some more infantry as well for that matter. And Scrawl will even send in a, snout, a scout sniper combo as well. Yeah, that's when um, UK starts to fail a bit when the uh, heavier starts stuff from any nation basically comes out. Because the 17 pounder stuff is basically on a glass cannon platform, and good job capturing the uh, right that actually grew off. Good job indeed. What if I should try to take that thing? I'll maybe just send it back. Yeah, ah, shit, 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 shit. Talk about being caught between a rock and a hard place. And like I said, we're still continuing to do damage. Thankfully, I do have my own SMGs to reinforce there, so I'll just send them forward. And there's a scout, there's a sniper. Okay, perfect. Now, then, hopefully, we can take out that racket and worth at the very least. So it's making such a such a racket. <laughs> uh, indeed, but anyway, this thing's still going to barrel in. I think my tank should be able to muscle its way. To take it out, but uh, it's still a bit hard to tell though, speaking which, there we go, there's the enemy tank. The hell is this thing even aiming at? I should just get to aim at this tank, at least maybe we can do track or something. And of course, yeah, we can't even aim the sniper scope through the uh, glass house here, which is kind of annoying, but oh well. So points being recaptured from the rear, but it's good to actually, uh, yeah, to, um, to pressure the opponent like that, so it helps keep the pressure off of you in the process. And speaking which, I might just send this guy back over. Yeah, perfect. And is this tank actually dead? I think I might have hull crashed or maybe not, not entirely sure. And speaking of which, yeah, these tanks, uh, Germany really needs to be doing a better job guarding them against uh, enemy infantry as well. Because if I, even if I had just a Piat launch, I could have just gone out to him because he literally had nothing. But anyway, let's just uh, for a quick dynamite. Hopefully, it's not going to bounce wildly. Nope. The guy managing to survive just barely. Perfect. Ah, oh, got you, got it. Let's say, here we go, managing to survive, and maybe I can take out the. Where the hell are they going? Anyway, maybe I can take out the. Um... I like it's a worker as well. Whatever the hell's over there. Oh, it's just a Panzer too. Looks to be able to take that easy. And they still got an AA gun there. What the hell are they thinking? I wonder. I just don't know. Okay, so this guy is still somehow alive, for God's sake, but oh well. And I forgot about my SMGs, actually, I just had them get taken out, but oh well, they're pretty uh, expendable anyway, they're mostly just there for... Actually, maybe we should just uh, wait for the... Uh... There we go. Maybe we should just wait for the... Enemy artillery to expose itself, and then I'll just take it out. In either case, what the hell, I'll just... Uh... Ah, oh, fuck me. Oh, Patrick was actually... Maybe I should just send him the uh, sniper or maybe I'll just get him to spot ahead. Screw I'll get him to spot ahead, actually. But yeah, very bad um, use of infantry by opponents and not, not, not guarding the tanks and all that, which they definitely need to be doing. Uh, they just get taken out of the scouts. Like, they were literally... Oh, that, there's where the hell is. There was literally no infantry around that tank at all, and it was a forward place tank as well. It wasn't just a you know, tank that was uh, temporarily on the... On the Backline for some reason, so. Oh, well, what can you do with the case? Keep spotting ahead, and. Is that just a single? No, there's two of them there, okay. So we'll just. Ah, fuck. Okay, now I'll have to be a bit careful, actually. I don't want this guy to be caught behind enemy lines, actually. And that's what it looks like we're going to be uh, having both the sniper and the scout behind enemy lines from this point onwards. And, yeah, my regular troops should be able to guard the front line pretty. Easily, shit, I don't want my scout to be that close though. Whoops, look. Just get this guy to spot a bit more, and ah, it's just a sig. I think I'll go after the Hummel though, that would be a bit more of a uh, valuable target. This guy, we'll just get him to keep going after this Hummel. God damn, I can't believe these guys are actually managing to last so long. <laughs> Incredible, simply 
Incredible. Let's just say the least. And no infantry there. My god, what a, it's probably no infantry even guarding this point, actually. Although, yep, I do see that Akatsu and Werfer, though, so. No infantry, though. Okay. I have to watch out to stay out of the uh, main reinforcement area, though, to say the least. Which, yeah, I think that Rackets and Werfer will get to fire though before. Or maybe not. If, if I'm quick enough, maybe, just maybe, I can take him out. We'll see what happens. In any case, yep, there goes the Alden. Oh, damn it. This guy had the crappy PC and everything. Oh well. Actually, no, fuck, let's just spread this bastard. There we go. Can I get him before he launches his rockets? Oh, god damn. Talk about leaving me in the suspense, though. <laughs> uh, let me guess, he's probably gonna lag out due to the game crashing or something. I think that was, that was his last. Yep, yeah, that was his last dynamite. Yep. Although, he might be able to salvage him something from this Opal Blitz. He <laughs> put his Oh, incredible. Ah, uh, of course. Ah. think. If, if that's the bug that uh, I'm thinking of, that I uh, sometimes get. Yeah, even seems to. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> God, needs a cough a bit there. Yeah, that's better. So, yep, there, you go. there goes the entire team, in fact. Oh, incredible. At least I'll stop this thing from firing, I'm pretty sure. Yep, sure will. I even held destroy that. Wow, so whatever happens, I think I'll try. I'll definitely try to bundle this thing in... Really? With uh, the other screwy videos as well, because I reckon that was pretty good, actually, maybe. Managing to destroy a couple of things. Even this thing as well, actually, was several meters away, but it got hull destroyed. From behind. Explosion. Oops. Explosion. Loss. Worth it. <laughs> and as well as tonight, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, we'll be encountering more screw rounds. But that was interesting, though. <laughs> uh, very interesting. Oh my god, and that's where the freaking water was. But anyway, until uh, next time, this has been uh, Dave Dovich signing off.